Fox News alert, President Biden must choose America's next move wisely. But after his previous for foreign policy blunders, can he be trusted on the world stage? Republican presidential candidate Larry Elder joins me live on set. Um, Larry, thanks so much for joining the program. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. What should be the president's next move with all of these revelations going on right now between Russia and Ukraine? You know, we wouldn't be having this conversation, Lawrence, if the president had not pulled out the way he did uh, in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. uh, he unleashed the hounds. He made uh, Putin more aggressive. He made Xi Jinping more aggressive. He made the Ayatollahs more aggressive. May I say, though, the reason I am here is that I'm running for president. Mm -hmm. And the reason I'm running for president is because I thought Donald Trump did an amazing job. And if I thought a sufficient number of swing voters in swing states would vote for the man, I wouldn't be here. But so many people find the man toxic. I believe that for swing voters, some of them, Lawrence, if he walked on water, they'd accuse him of not being able to swim. I have no idea what to do about Trump derangement syndrome. Maybe someday somebody would develop a vaccine. But until then, it presents a problem, and that problem is called electability. I've asked people the following questions, Lawrence. Have you lost friends because of Donald Trump? I know I have. Mm -hmm. Are you now walking on eggshells at work because of Donald Trump? I know a lot of people are. Do you have strained relations with family members and relatives because of Donald Trump? The answer is yes. Houston, we've got a problem. Mm -hmm. And I think at some point during this long process, Lawrence, the Republicans are going to realize they need to rally behind a candidate whose last name is other than Trump, mm -hmm. but for whom a sufficient number of swing votes uh, can vote so, so we can win in November 2020. So, Larry, you talked about electability, mm -hmm. and part of that electability argument is winning the Republican primary. Right. Right now, you're less than 1% right no, now. No, I'm over 1%. So, uh, how, how do you get <laughs> Don't the, 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 the American people, specifically Republican right. voters, uh, to vote for you so you can take on Joe Biden? Well, two things. I ran for governor in California, as you know. I got 3.5 million votes. There were 46 altogether candidates on the replacement side. I got more votes and virtually all of them put together. California has 58 counties. I carry 57. The only one I lost was San Francisco by a whopping 149 votes. My goal is to get on that debate stage in Milwaukee, which means I've got to get 40,000 individual donations. The donation can be as small as $1. Go to my website, elderforpresident.com. And once I get up there, I'm going to talk about all these issues, plus a couple ones that I think our side does not talk enough about, namely the lie that America is systemically racist, the absolute need for school choice in urban America, where, for example, there are 13 public high schools, I kid you not, Lawrence, 13 public high schools, all located in the inner city in Baltimore, where 0% yeah. of the kids can do math at grade level. And finally, the 10,000-pound elephant in the room, which is the epidemic of fatherlessness. 70% of black kids, 50% of Hispanic kids, 25% of white kids enter the world without a father in the home married to the mother. 40% of all American kids do. And the stats are clear. If you were raised without a dad, you are five times more likely to be poor and commit crime, nine times more likely to drop out of school, and 20 times more likely to end up in jail. What we've done with our welfare state is we've incentivized women to marry the government. We've incentivized men to abandon their financial and moral responsibility. But what is going to separate you from the people that are leading the field, Donald Trump, Ron DeSantis, even Vivek Ramaswamy, right. Nikki Haley. Right. What, what it's, is going to... What, what is, what is yeah. that lightning rod that says, go vote for Larry Elder? Because right now you're stating policy positions that they all agree with you no, on. No question about it. Uh, Donald Trump did a great job when he ran, uh, when he governed uh, on borders, uh, on, on the economy, on inflation, on energy independence. We all know what So why are, are you different? The issue is whether or not you are comfortable enough, likable enough, relatable enough to swing voters so that we can win. Uh, there aren't a whole lot of policy differences between virtually all of us. We all know we need to get tough with China. We all know that we need to uh, make sure that the kids get a good education in the inner city. We all know that taxes are too high. We all know that regulations are too much. We all pretty much have the same uh, ideas. We're all Republicans. I'm from the Republican wing of the Republican Party. Mm -hmm. It's we whether or not enough swing voters can relate to you so that we can win against Harris, Biden, we cannot afford another four years. Good copy, Larry Elder. Thanks so much for joining Thank us. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.